Start out by rolling out your base color, which is like cake batter color, or if you're doing a chocolate cake, it would be brown. And you need to cut out three triangles, because you're making a cake slice. Once you have your three triangles cut out, you need to cut out two of your filling color, and I did blue. I mixed blue and purple to make a dark blue. That's going to be kind of like a blueberry filling. And these are, this next filling color should be a lot thinner than the base color is. Next, you're going to want to texture it using like a toothpick or a needle tool. A toothpick works just as well. And you just use circular motions and little lines to create the texture that looks like cake. And you only texture the base cake batter color, but not the filling color. Once it's all textured, I decided to add little pieces of blue clay to look like blueberries that got baked in. This is optional. Um, you can make a confetti cake this way, put little rainbow pieces, or if you're doing, you know, like a cherry cake or something. I just blend them into the cake color. Next, I make the frosting using liquid clay, which you can find at a craft store, and I just mix the TLS, the translucent liquid clay, uh, translucent liquid sculpey, sorry. I mix it in with some little pieces of white clay. Sorry, the cup fell over there. And I just mix it in, and then I stir it really well until it's a frosting consistency. Then I frost the cake. And I make sure, I didn't do a very good job of this on the back, but I make sure the back, everything is covered and you can't see anything. Next, if you want, you can decorate it. I just added a little blueberry in the corner. And yeah. Next, you bake it. I bake mine at 250 degrees for 20 minutes.